Hi everyone, this is Jainti Talapati from Gateway the Complete School. So today's topic is mechanism of nucleophilic substitution in tertiary halogenoalkanes. Okay, so mechanism of nucleophilic substitution in tertiary halogenoalkane. So tertiary that means a carbon atom which is bonded with chlorine or any halogen is also bonded with three other alkyl group or three other carbon atom. So over here uh, this is primary right primary means a carbon which is bonded with halogen also bonded with other one other carbon atom or an alkyl group right. So over here we are going to see the nucleophilic substitution so nucleophilic substitution by i mean over here we are going to see hydrolysis so when hydrolysis takes place in tertiary halogenoalkane as we have seen in the primary halogenoalkane same concept we need to add water so by adding water the halogenoalkane will not dissolve in water that's the reason we are adding equal amount of ethanol. So 50%, 50-50. So if you add 50% uh, water, same equal amount of ethanol you have to mix with water. Because again I am telling you, halogenoalkane is insoluble in water. So uh, what will happen? Only the layer where they meet, right? Where the halogenoalkane and water meet that layer so the product forms only in the layer that is the reason we are mixing it with ethanol so by heating halogenoalkane with ethanolic uh, aqueous ethanol okay so from this the hydroxyl group hydroxyl ion anion will react with the cation so over here the cation is C I mean the carbon atom carbocation which is uh, bonded with three other alkyl group and the anion so this is plus so anion is delta minus okay so uh, a chlorine is a electron acceptor and the carbocation is a electron donor okay so over here if you take chloroethane so chloroethane is a primary so nucleophilic substitution will be easy over here because at a time uh, chlorine will remove from the ethane group and hydroxyl can react with the ethane ethyl group right so that will not happen with the tertiary the reason is because this has only one carbon atom which can donate electrons right so over here the carbon if it loses its electron the other methyl groups no, three other methyl alkyl groups also donates electron because that is also alkyl so it gets electron more electron that is the reason it is very difficult to remove any halogen group from tertiary halogenoalkane okay so over here then what will happen so that is what yes and one mechanism okay yes and one mechanism yes and one mechanism so nucleophilic substitution one so what will happen over here um, tertiary uh, tertiary uh, halogenoalkane is here so for example bromo bromine with the tertiary group so over here it's bromobutane right okay fine so tertiary bromobutane fine so now over here the carbon is a cation which i mean this donates electron to bromine okay so this is a slow step so slow step is a rate determining step right so only one species reacting so what we have seen with the primary at the time hydro bromine will remove hydroxyl will react with the alkyl group so that will not happen with tertiary halogeno 
alkene so one species first one species will uh, react now you will get the cation so with the cation the anion will react it donates its lone pair electron i mean data bonding actually right so over here the hydroxyl immediately it will react with the cation that's why it is fast reaction okay so we'll get the alcohol as a end product tertiary alcohol as a end product so this is what mechanism of nucleophilic substitution in tertiary halogenoalkene i hope you understand the concept so if you have any doubt please type it in a comment i'll answer you bye